Hi guys, welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we're using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules today, and you can get it from a link below this video. We've got an image here with some hotspots on it. And when you hover over, pops up a little tooltip, tells you a bit of information about that little hotspot there. We've also added a couple of images that when you hover over, it's going to pop up and give you an image and a bit of info about that too. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do with Supreme modules. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll simply get rid of this and we'll start from scratch. So I've got a section in the blue tab with a row with a single column in it, the green tab right here. Let's add a module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules and there's plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add the Supreme modules, you get another 40 or so of these, the sort of purpley blue ones here. And there really are some fantastic modules. Uh, they really put the Divi theme on steroids. And uh, Supreme comes with a free version and a paid version. Okay, well let's find Image Hotspot module. There it is, Supreme Image Hotspots. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a background image in. Just click on the image right here. It prompts you straight away on the content. And I've got this map right here. I'll use the same as we did in the demo. Okay. Well, let's add some hotspots. So I'm going to go up to the top, still on content, add a new item. And I'm going to use a tooltip. And it prompts you straight away to use a tooltip. And we'll say... North America, population, whatever it was, 544 million. I'm sure it's changed since they did that. Okay, and if we hover over, you can see it's got that as a tooltip, which is great. If you wanted to link it to somewhere, you could put a link in here. And usual best practice, if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If your linking's elsewhere, put it in a new tab so your st site stays open. Okay, the background color itself, I'm gonna make that black. I think I'll use an icon. So what I'll do is go up to hotspot and here's all our elegant themes icons. You can use an icon or an image or some text. I'm gonna use an icon. I'm gonna get a sort of exclamation mark. There we go, that'll do nicely. There we are, in, inside there. But I don't want it right there, I want it right over here, right over North America. So let's go to our design. We'll go to hotspot settings. The left position, we want to pull it more over to the left. It's pretty good right there, and we can put it slightly higher up. Right there, great. So that's exactly where I want it right there. And if you're doing more of these, the easiest thing to do here is just simply clone this one. And we'll go in and we'll see. Looks like I've spelt it wrong there for a start. We'll say South. And that was 422 or something. Now we've got it cloned. I don't want to change the styling or anything. I just want to change where it actually is because we want to put it over South America. So we'll go back into hotspot settings, move it a bit over to the right and down some. A little bit more over to the right. There we go, that'll work right there. Perhaps down a little bit more. And we've got that one. Now I need to correct the spelling of naught right there to north. Okay, so we'll save that, go into this one. And we're just touching the tip of the iceberg here with what we're doing. These are just a couple of examples. And for another one, what I did was I sort of put a picture of London in there, but I only had it when you hover over it. So let's add another new item. This time I'm just going to go to Hotspot. And I'm going to select Image. I'm going to put in an image of London. There's Tower Bridge right there. As you can see, it's popped it in, but it's way too big. And I don't want any background in it. So let's take that background away. 
but while we're still in the image let's give it a text and that'll appear when we pop over I'm not going to have a tool tip because it won't work because we're, I'm going to fade it in so the image text I'm going to say London population I think it was 9 million Okay, tooltip. I don't want anything in the tooltip. And background wise for the image, I don't want a background in there at all. So I'm just going to take that away. Great. Let's go to our design now. And the hotspot image is right here. Let's make it the size that we actually want it. Something like that. Whatever works for you, obviously. And I'll give it a light border so it offsets it against the background here. Here's the border. You can do all four at once with this little one here, or just top, just right, just bottom, just left. I'll do all four. I'm going to give it, let's try one pix white. That's absolutely fine right there. Great. Okay. Now, where do we want it? We can do that in settings. The actual left and right seems to be okay, but we want it higher up. So let's pull it up to about there. Just want to see England's south tip poking out a little bit. That'd be good. Now I only want to see it on hover. So let's go down to filters. But while we're there, I need to get rid of the hotspot. You see, I've got no text in there, but we've got a little dark patch popping up there. So the easiest way to do that is tooltip settings. Just take the background away because we've got no content, no background, you've got no pop-up. Great. So let's do the hover effect on this one. So I'm still in the design tab. I'm going to roll down to filters. I'm going to go down to opacity or see-throughness. When you hover over the dark writing common to most DV modules, you'll see some icons. Click on the little arrow right here. You've got two settings, desktop when your mouse is not on it, and hover, funnily enough, when your mouse is on it. Now when we hover on it, I want to see that image. And when we're not hovering on it, desktop, I want it to be invisible. Great. So that's only going to appear when we hover over it. And it's going to actually put the alt text in there for the image, or the text I should say, not the alt text. If we go back into that image, right here, here's the text that's going to appear when we pop up. Alt text is should really be a description of the picture so I'm going to put London in there but a lot of people actually use it for keywords and geolocation data and what have you but it should really be used for a description because it's for sight impaired people that use a screen reader and when they mouse over it it'll actually tell them what they're mousing over okay so we've got that one done if we're happy with that one we'll do the same thing if we want to do another one of the same style instead of doing from scratch we'll save this one we'll just clone that one now let's put in one for Sydney or Australia down here we've cloned it let's go in there and again we're in the hotspot we'll change the picture out to Sydney Opera House and again And I think its population was 5 million or something like that, roughly. Apologise to any Sydney people if I'm wrong there. Okay, and we want to put it down here because Sydney is right on the east coast of Australia down there. So we can't actually see this because we've got it faded out. So if we go over to our design tab now, we'll just go down to fi filters we don't really have to change anything we can just set it on the hover state so we can see it there it is I have to check my London one because I think I've got zero opacity on both there and we just need to put it where we want it now so if we go back up to hotspot settings I want it to be a bit more over to the right and we want to pop it down over Australia there there we go fantastic so I'm happy with that just check my filter settings still in design back down to filter 
opacity. Yeah, that's going to disappear. Just want to check that London one, which was the one above. Design filters down to opacity zero. Yeah, I want when we hover over it, that wants to be a hundred percent too. Great. Now the only other thing that, like I say, you can do all kind of different things with icons and things. This is just two examples here. I'm going to save this. And if you want to, you can go in and give it an admin label because they're all the same at the moment. If you're using a lot of them, it's a good idea to put an admin label in so you can tell what's what. Uh, this is North America. As you can see, that's now got North America. Do the same for any of the others. So let's save this and check it on the front end. So I'm going to save the page changes and exit the Visual Builder. And there's our little North American hotspot population, South America hotspot. When I hover over England, a London picture should come up. And there's a little text with the population. And the same for Sydney over here. Really easy to do. So there you go, guys. That's how to create a hotspot image using the fantastic Divi Supreme modules plugin. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.